COVID-19. It's all over the news, all over social media, radios, there has become a form of news. Panic has struck us and taken over the lives we once knew. Wash your hands with care, cover when you sneeze or cough, and don't you dare to touch anything. You better beware. Many have died, many are infected, and many have yet to be diagnosed and detected. Stars have been rolled and people will damage. Food and supplies are low on stock due to the chaos and damage. Fear is in the minds of everyone who watches the number increase day after day. The unknown reality and the invisible enemy that has awoken to annihilate the unlucky ones who have been chosen not to stay. Everywhere there are masks, hands in gloves, and sanitizer just waiting to be used. Everyone has been told they need to stay at home, even the children who depends on school to run away from their abuse. People are searching for answers, for ways to stay safe during this pandemic of sickness and death. They don't want to end up catching the virus, suffering, and maybe giving their very last breath. Streets are empty. No one wants to go out. And life, as we know, it brings us fear and doubt. We aren't sure who has it. We aren't sure if we'll get it. And that I will paralyze us. We are afraid that we will be the next ones to get hit. During these times of hardship, these are the times to show affection and hold our loved ones tight. The two of grudges, hold on to hope and pray to God that everything will be alright. Money is an issue, cover your mouth with a tissue. Mental illness does not too kindly to the downfall COVID-19 has done. Financial worries, everything's blurry. We want our families and friends to stay safe while this disease continues to run. Prankster will spread their germs for a laugh. Not fully known the consequences and COVID 19 strike. Social distancing seems to be the way to go. Keep yourself six feet apart. Remember to keep yourself alert because power comes from what you know. Don't attack others or cause harm just to start a feud. Say love, don't spread hate, don't be nasty, mean, or rude. We're in this together. Whether you're a minority or not, whether you're rich or not, no one is safe from this enemy. Young or old, let's stay calm and work to make this pandemic last only temporarily. To those of you still in the crowd, please stop what you're doing. It's only making this worse. I know it's hard not to go out with family and friends, but just imagine your heroes trying to end this terrible curse. So don't let the fear of the news keep you anxious and uptight. Because if they follow the guidelines and keep hope, then normally, we'll once again be in our sight. The restrained demon will live for Saint Boniface, that in all things, God may be glorified.